We are thinking outside the box, literally. Cake by Courtney <laughs> is making baking from scratch easier than ever and mixing flavors. Oh, mm. that's your taste buds are mm. just mm. going to love. <laughs> And get off the couch and on the bench at local school helping parents and children bond over music. And from exercise to home-cooked meals where your family can find a one-stop shop for a healthy lifestyle. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. And good afternoon. <laughs> uh, Hateful <happy> travel. <laughs> That's the one I made, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to sample that in just a minute. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait on not that. Yet, not so, yet, not yet, not yet. Hey, you know, this is all about, like we said, family. Yes. And it's just talking about those great ideas that you can mm -hmm. do and together. To bond. Yeah, to bond yeah. with the family, with the kids, and take the time to do it together. Yes, cooking, crafting, sewing, bowling. We have a little bit of everything on today's show for you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. I'm Jen Tobias Jusky. Okay, before we talk about all of that, mm -hmm. we want to know what you do with the family. What's, what's that one little thing that hopefully doesn't involve that mm -mm. thing. Put the phones away, please. Yeah. Just, just what, do you buy, what do you guys do? Um, uh, every once in a while, we will always say, let's play a board game. That's fun. Yeah. What's your favorite? Uh, we were talking about Taboo. Oh, oh yeah. One of them. Is that what the, you, yeah, you were the, talking about the that. The old game Aggravation with the marbles that you, and oh, you roll the dice and everything I like that. About, okay. uh, yeah, a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> and at the beach uh, a couple of weeks ago, the simple little paddle ball we found in the grocery store, the little wooden paddles mm -hmm. and that little Dudley kind of rubber ball and just ding, ding, ding. Oh, ding. yeah. Hours we were doing that. It's See? so much fun. Yeah. Not on the gadget. What about yeah, you? we like to paint. Uh, I mean, something as simple as painting rocks with nail polish. We were doing that two nights ago, and she was so happy to do it. I mean, the littlest little crafting things. Yeah. Just no phones. That is key. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Something else? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, let, let us know. Let Share us know. your photos and yeah. give somebody else some pictures. good ideas on what to do. Well, something else that is great to do as a family is baking. Of course, we have cake by Courtney here today, and you've made it easier than ever because you have a kit to get that yes. scratch taste, right? Yes, Welcome, Courtney right. Rich. Thank you. Like you're saying, we've got the um, the new cake subscription boxes, and we'll get into this cake in just a minute. But since you brought that up, um, I'm I basically hopefully take taken out a lot of the extra work of tracking down certain ingredients, measuring things out. Um, my kids love to bake with me. And by packaging like everything pre-measured, it makes it really easy for them to pour it into the mixer. We're not making a huge yeah. mess. Because a lot of people baking from scratch is taking the box from the grocery store yes. and adding, which is, <laughs> which is good and it comes right out of the oven. And it's quick and easy. And I think fun for kids to learn that way because my son would read the back of a box and learn how to, to bake with just a few ingredients. Right. But when we're baking from scratch, it's not that many more ingredients that we need to add, but the flavor and the texture is mm -hmm. so different, so much better when we're doing it from scratch. You might be afraid though to cook, make cake from scratch. Well, and I <laughs> hopefully am breaking it down. So with the okay. subscription box, you're getting all, like anything you don't need from your refrigerator already mm -hmm. pre-measured. It's mm -hmm. like categorized. You can see the cake, the frosting, if there's fillings, it comes in the extras. I love that. And then you have my recipe card. Um, with everything else that you need to get um, and instructions. Um, we get a cute cake topper from My Mind's Eye and you get a free memory book from Chapbook. You can go ahead and print your pictures wow. of your cake. So we have oh. lots of fun things in the in the box for subscribers. And so every month is a different theme. Yes. So for March, you had the <laughs> grasshopper cake. Yes, theme. we had the grasshopper pie cake. And this month um, for April, it's going to be my uh, carrot apricot cake. Got it. So that's the one we're putting together now. Um, and we'll see. I'm going to have you do it because you practiced a bunch this weekend with your right. grasshopper pie cake. Right. It looks awesome. I want to dig into that, by <laughs> the way. <laughs> so you're, you're here for classes, but right. you're yes. sold out. And that yes. is the awesome thing about these kits because you guys sent some to us. So our director, Jeff, and myself, he did it with his daughter. And then I tried it out with my kids. And here's how it went down. <laughs> Take a look. Ready to bake the cake? Yep. Who's going to help me with that? I got two awesome helpers. So excited! We have our instructions here. And the first thing we need to do, it looks like we have to do our cookie crust first. Y'all ready? Yes. As we're mixing our crust, the next ingredient is... Butter! Are you excited for the butter, Ray Ray? Oh, yes ma'am! Onto the cookie crust. 
Okay, so one, two, three, four. The ganache seems good. If my son was in here, I'd let him taste this. He's missing out. Here's the filling. This is for our frosting. My babies are gone. I don't know, I guess they're tired. What do you think? It looks good. Here we go, we're doing the edge here. Just gonna spread it. And that's what matters most because I think these are memories they'll take with them forever. Yes, what a fun time. Of and oh my this gosh, is I your masterpiece. <laughs> I'm trying this. Give it a, give it a shot. I love eating my cake when someone else makes it. Mm. <laughs> Jen, mm. it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Bravo. Okay. Mm. Well, thank you. Thank now I'm going to have chocolate in my teeth, but it was worth it. <laughs> oh, awesome. All right. Sorry, guys. Mm. So, so one thing, yeah, one thing this? I felt like I needed help with was what you're going to show us today. Yeah. So kind of like the frosting and then the tip to freeze the cakes and all yeah, that good so, stuff. So um, I like working with chilled cakes. So after they've baked, I let them get to room temperature and then I'll freeze them. And you can even freeze them for a week or two. Just okay. wrap them in saran wrap. So that way you're not having to go, oh, I've got to do everything in yes. one day yeah. and wait for it to cool and all yeah. that. Yeah, so look at how many steps you have and spread it across a few days. So then on the day of your event or your party that you're celebrating, you just have to stack and decorate, and it feels a little less overwhelming. That's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> and you still have Thank that you. great taste, Yes, right? great taste. So I've already stacked two layers, but I just want to show you, you always want to, if you have like a little dome on your cake, make sure to level it off with a serrated knife. Um, okay. But having the right tools is super helpful. You don't have to. I make cakes with a plate and a knife all the time, but this is an offset icing spatula. So Jen, I'm going to have you turn okay. the turntable. So a turntable is a great tool to have. Because you'll just be able to handle the cake so much easier. And one you can buy one of those turntables and the special is uh, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that. And they're not that. Yeah. yeah. So you right. can find them I online. Professional okay. already. Fantastic. Okay. And then <laughs> let's go ahead. Okay. Let's pipe a rim of frosting. So I'll do half of it. And then I want you to finish. This way we have a softer filling on the inside. Okay. Mike, I you want to take that? It so much easier when you're, sp here, spin the okay, thing. I'll spin. Okay, I'll <laughs> spin. You pipe. Yeah. And this is like, yeah, there's your teamwork with your kids, right? Go. That I love seeing the kids. Easy. I love yes. this. With but this the, is uh, going to hold season. in our soft filling here. We have an apricot jam. Now, because apricots aren't in season right now, you can just use a store-bought jam. But I do love to make a homemade apricot compote, mm. and that's what you'll find in the recipe. Okay. Um, and then, Mike, Jen, grab some of this the white favorite. chocolate pretzel filling, and let's stuff Wait, this say cake. That, say that again. Tell us white what this is. chocolate pretzel crack filling. We were trying to figure <laughs> out, and <laughs> you could put this on yogurt and pretend it's granola. Yeah. Uh, and you said you can take anything healthy and make it unhealthy. Yes, I, I can. It's stuff. a gift. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. It goes on here. Not in my mouth. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this adds just a nice little <laughs> a bit little of a, crunch a, a crunch and a little saltiness. So um, good. But I love a little texture in my cake. So we just want to make sure, you know, kind of pat that in so it stays level with the mm -hmm. rest of the cake. Um, and you'll see we've got the orange okay. and green going on. And I, love I like what Mike's doing. I, <laughs> He's yeah, like, no, let's the more the better, more, end, more. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's perfect. You eat the rest. Thank Last you. cake layer always goes top side down. Oh, so okay. our really flat, smooth surface is here. Now, we're going to do just a really simple decorating idea. It kind of looks like a carrot was our mm -hmm. theme here. Uh, I'm going to take my straight icing spatula, and I'll come around to this side, and I'm just going to kind of layer it on. Oh, it's see. like a little bit of a rustic look. But okay. see how we're just doing that? Yeah. A lot of people think when they're doing a cake like this that it's got to come out and look like something out of a magazine. But you said it doesn't. Right? No, it doesn't. It's all about the flavor. And that's what people remember. So I think just start by teaching yourself how to bake a cake from scratch, learning some of the rules that I like. Um, I, you want fresh ingredients. Baking soda and baking powder shouldn't be over six months old. Use room temperature ingredients. So things you grab from the refrigerator, your eggs, your buttermilk butter. Let those sit out for about an hour because as they're warmer, they're going to blend better with our dry ingredients that have the leavening agents. Our cakes rise better, get nice and fluffy, nice and even. And you said you got started in this because you had um, to bake a cake. Yeah, I, I needed to bake a cake for my son's first birthday. And to impress and, the in-laws. And right? I was. I was trying to impress my in-laws. Okay? I did. They're great cooks. And I thought, I can't do something from a box. Um, but it just lit this fire inside of me because it tasted so amazing. It was a total train wreck as far as how it looked. Um, but, but, again, the but the taste, taste. but okay. the taste was great. And then look how cute we can just take a little piping tip and make it look like the top of our carrot, uh, so that we're not 
you know, okay. stressing too much about how it looks, and, and we finish it off. And here's our fantastic our... tips, Courtney. Thank you. Thank very you. And we do have to eat this one. Well, we we got to give you a good taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, the... you cut that, and okay. we will do this. And again, some of the classes are sold out right now, but you can get more information on Cake by Courtney and the Cake Club on her website, and we have a link on oh, salive.com. Yeah, dig into that. Oh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. Put that apricot jam in there. <laughs> yeah, okay. so just head to salive.com for more information. And remember, you can get a cake every month. Yes. This. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much, Courtney. Thanks, you guys. All right. Still ahead on SA Live, crafts for kids. Whether you have a toddler or a big kid, Abby's Attic is showing us projects specifically suited for your child's age group. And next, it's a Try It Tuesday. We're learning how to cook and work out as a family where parents and kids can learn how to live healthier lives together. Stay with us. Parents and children building a healthy lifestyle together. That's what they're helping with at a local YMCA. Yes, indeed. From cooking to exercising, they have a variety of activities for the whole family all in one building. And my son Ty and I went there to check it out in this family version of a Try It Tuesday. <laughs> Let's try Tuesday is a little bit different. It's all family oriented, so me and my youngest here, Ty, I know I embarrass you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try a little bit of uh, you know bonding time, father-son workout at the Mays Family YMCA at Petranco. Ready to go check it out? Sure. Sure, okay, come on, son. Let me tell you the story about my best friend. <laughs> come on, dad. <laughs> Susie Williams is the executive director here at the Mays Family Y at Petranco. All right, talking about things to do with the family, working out. Um, yeah, is it is it necessarily a family event when you have kids and parents? And yeah, absolutely. It's that's one of the things that makes the YMCA so special is that we truly believe that it's a family event and it's a family lifestyle. So we have a teaching kitchen, we have two swimming pools, a basketball court, a health and wellness scout space, three group exercise studios, we have a functional studio space, and then we just opened our uh, sports fields this past weekend. And so at the Y, we encourage families to work out together. Um, in fact, on our wellness floor, like you see here, we encourage children as young as seven to work out with their parents. And it truly is something that they do together. Not only spending the time together, but then it's also a really, really good lesson because not only with, you know, mom or dad saying, you need to exercise more to yeah. do this, but children are actually seeing mom and dad Absolutely. doing that and doing it with them and so you can you know if the boys get older you can compete who can curl more stuff like that right yeah absolutely and it's an opportunity for kids to realize that exercise and healthy habits are just part of normal adulthood speaking of quality time how's the uh the curls going over there junior or, oh you're pressing okay very good is he is he doing this okay you think looks pretty good okay. pretty now is this close. what a father should do is just stand over here and, and watch it <laughs> <laughs> well you usually don't think of the why is having a kitchen but this is Chelsea's stomping down. Chelsea Crawford is a registered dietitian, and you like to teach families how to eat well. And it's the it's the stuff we like to snack on, but you got to make it healthy, right? Right. So there's a way to make dips a little bit better for you, and so mm -hmm. that we can get our vegetables in and still enjoy the dip. And so this is a nice dip um, that adds in some cauliflower, takes out a little bit of extra fat, and gives us a little added veggies to our treats. There. So you roasted cauliflower first of all. Yes. So when you roast it, it adds okay. um, a little dimension of flavor, so it adds a lot of nice Let's taste to the dip. Put all this in here? Yes. So now we're going to add the cream cheese, and then what we have in the other bowl is ranch seasoning. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with a tablespoon, and this is to taste. So some people have different preferences. You can always add more, but we'll start with a tablespoon. And these classes are open to not only members, but anybody, if yes. you want to learn about it, right? Yes. So we leave it open to the community. We really want it to be a community kitchen. People, everybody, families, children come in and learn how to cook healthy recipes at home. Okay. Frank's Red Hot Wings, Buffalo sauce. <laughs> how much of this? So, one third cup. Really Give me a dollar if you drink this right now. <laughs> All right. And then this just goes in a food processor? Yes. All right. 
And it is done. Do you want chips or celery? <laughs> celery. Yeah, if you didn't know that there's cauliflower in there, you would never know it. So now it's about building your nachos. So you can add a variety of things, but we're gonna start with um, adding some beans to the bottom here. Here, you look bored, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then on that you'll add your um, Guac. guacamole. All right, here's some cheese, and you can top it off with some green onions. And what's important, it's about learning to be creative in the kitchen and learning these substitutions, so healthy eating isn't boring. Cheers. So you had fun today? Yeah. yeah, and so, you know, what's better than after a workout like this than being in the pool like that? And if you'd like more information about all the different family activities at all of the various YMCA locations around town, just go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Hey, how's the water? <laughs> and you can embarrass your children in public, too. That's what's fun about it. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, three-year-olds learning to play the piano with their parents, a local school making music fun for students of all ages. That's a high-tech way to sell your home offer. Pat is here to tell you how they're getting some homeowners cash offers on their house within 24 hours. That's next. There's a brand new way to sell your home here in San Antonio. OfferPad kicked off business in the San Antonio area last week to help people sell their homes with high-tech tools and free cash offers in as little as 24 hours. It also helps home buyers to find, view, and tour homes more easily. And joining me today to tell us more, OfferPad uh, Director of Communications, Courtney Reed. Hello. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Thanks for being here. So OfferPad has only been in Texas a few months, but it is growing fast. Right, San Antonio just this last week. Week. So San Antonio and Austin, we're super excited to be here. We're already having a great warm welcome for people looking to sell their home. So how easy is it? Because th this is one of those big stresses in yeah. life, selling your house. Yeah. How easy do you guys make it? So the process is really simple. To start out, you just go to offerpad.com, upload your information, put in your property address, tell us what we want to know about your home. You know, what upgrades have you done? What needs work on your house? And then within 24 hours, we're actually going to send you an offer. 24 so, hours. 24 hours, wow. yeah. And then from there, you actually get to select your closing date. There's several other benefits, but mainly you get to have the peace of mind knowing that your home is sold and you can move freely and go ahead and go find your dream home. So it seems like you're trying to make this a little easier for people. The Absolutely. Whole process, yeah. Mm -hmm. We want to make it easier, but we also want to put the seller back in control. So there's not a lot of control over this process. And since we're a cash buyer, really, they get to move on their time pace, whether that's they want to speed up a process and move in two weeks or they want three months, you know, to move. It's their choice. Got it. So if they have a job waiting for them, but they want to kind of slow it down, you can help with that too. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or if your dream house isn't ready to move in yet, that way you don't have two mortgages or you have to put yourself in store. It's up to you and when you want to move. So what are the benefits for people who use OfferPad? Yeah, so I think that one, the selecting your closing date is going to be one of the biggest benefits. You don't have that in a traditional route. Um, you know, you'll also have a dedicated team and the fact that you'll have that offer in peace of mind within 24 hours. One of the coolest things though, just to again, save you additional expense and headache is that we will actually uh, move you for free. So oh. yep, we'll pay for the, your local move. It's on us. And so on average, it takes months to sell a home mm -hmm. from start to finish. Does OfferPad help with that process? Yes. So from start to beginning, um, you know, we will help you through that process. It's not going to take months if you don't need it to take months. Um, but really, the selecting that closing date. So two weeks, and you can move your closing date. That's what's cool, too. So if you okay. need select three months you want to move, and then you actually go and find your dream house and say, OfferPad, I actually want to move in 20 days. Done deal. Really? Whatever works best for you. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you can adjust that. Yeah, absolutely. And you're there to help. All right. Well, thank you so much. OfferPad is now in the San Antonio area. And for more information on how to buy or sell a home with OfferPad, just head over to the website, OfferPad.com. Courtney, thank you so much. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live, we're getting crafty here at Market Square. Abby's Attic is going to show us some mommy and me crafts with fabric that you can create with your kids. Plus a mommy and me or daddy and me class for music, where you can go with your little ones or older kids to learn how to play instruments as a family. That's next on SA Live. Stay with us.
Welcome back, everyone. Well, it was a love for music and family that led a local mom to open a music school here in town with her two daughters, and now their passion is helping other families come together. Yes, we visited the Music Wonderland class at Jensen's Yamaha Music School, where parents and kids are learning the basics of music together. Take a look. We are a family business. My mom has owned the school since 1976. We teach all ages. Uh, most of our beginners start when they're really young. We have babies and toddlers all the way up through high schoolers. Well, we have all different uh, classes for kids and parents. So we have a baby toddler class. It's a, a lot of singing and dancing and movement and just experiencing music with our kids. When they get to be three years old, they start the Music Wonderland course. And that's when they actually start playing the keyboards. Three-year-olds playing the keyboards. For music in early childhood, um, it's important that the parents involved um, you can help at home. It gives them a little more confidence that we're there, the parents support him and to let him know that he's doing a good job. I like to see how he has gained a lot of confidence through the music, through the learning. Yeah, they're an integral part of our curriculum because the kids um, have that wonderful time to bond with their parents and express music and share that together. So they have one-on-one -on -one time with each other and then they get to share it at home and so the parents, they can keep up for a while but the kids usually pass up the parents. <laughs> I'm learning as well. I don't know anything about music, so I'm learning as he's learning. I don't have a musical education, so that, that has been my musical education. <laughs> they make it fun. They make these music, music classes sustainable. And the kids want to be here. They love to come. Parents here and the kids, it's a real family. Awesome school. The teachers, it's a family owned. It's the mother and the daughters. So it's just really close knit and I really like it. Music, it, it, it unites people and so it's something that, that brings people together. It's just good for the good for the soul. It's a wonderful thing as a teacher to get to teach because um, you get to see um, that connection that the parents and child and I think in such a busy world and, and being so preoccupied it's a moment where they're not on their phones and they're actually present with their children and I think that that um, that's something that all of our kids need. What a great program. Hey, next on SA Live, getting crafty with your kids. Abby's Attic is here to show you different projects parents and children can create together. Stay with us. just starting to get in touch with their creativity or whether your eight-year-old is already starting to surpass your crafting skills we have a project <laughs> maybe many projects for you jennifer nicolella from abby's attic is here to show us some of the uh, fun family crafts and not only is this a good you know family bonding time but there's a reason behind this very yes. serious reason very good. serious reason so we're finding that little kids are losing the ability to pinch um, because uh, they are using too much technology, they're not manipulating small things. Doing this too much with ah, too much. That's that. exactly right. Yes. And so that muscle, building that muscle, is a precursor for being able to write. So we have to make sure that they build those muscles. So the crafts that we've chosen today all incorporate those fine motor skills and those kind of pinchy motions. And different age groups, right? And different age groups, mm -hmm. that's right. So this so is for little ones. This is for ages about two to five. It'll vary, of course, with the you know child's dexterity. But all we want them to do is go in and out through the plastic canvas with a needle. It's a blunt needle, a mm -hmm. little bit of skinny yarn. Um, and they, you'll see he's pinching, right? And he's also pinching the, the plastic canvas. So those motions help the kids build those muscles. And you don't want to help them, right? You, you, you tell don't want to help them. Let them do it. That's right. So there's two things that we want to remember when our kiddos are doing this. One, let them struggle. The struggle is what teaches them how to, you know, make mistakes and learn from mistakes and, and build those muscles and build those, those skills. You fall down, next time you won't. That's exactly okay. right. And the second thing is, um, if we parents do it for them, 
then all we teach them is that we can do it better than them. So that's we wanna true. make sure that we let them struggle, let them do it, let them try. Mm -hmm. So that's a good one for ages two to five. Mm -hmm. And then for about ages five to eight, again, depending on the child's dexterity, we're gonna do the same kind of motion, but this time we're gonna put, uh, put some burlap, which is a very loose weave, into an embroidery hoop. And so we'll have you guys open the hoop. So you're using your pinchy fingers so again. There's another, that little tiny little righty tidy, right lefty loosey, yep. And we're going to um, put this one on the table. This one's good. Uh -huh. And then cover it with that and then on top, yep. Okay. And so as you're seeing them work, they are using those itty bitty finger muscles, right? We want the kids to build those muscles. Mm -hmm. And then you tighten the screw. Okay. 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 And then um, as you hold the project, you're also using those. Um, those small muscles. So with a needle and thread, you can um, sew buttons, you can sew little felt flowers. Oh, flowers. And kids love this. Um, they choose colors and combinations that we adults probably wouldn't, you know, why mm -hmm. did those don't go together? But when it's done, the kid has made it and there's pride in the work that they've done mm -hmm. and they enjoy the process. And, and it's just this fun. is going to be a gift for grandma oh, or totally. grandpa or someone. Absolutely. That One of a will, kind gift. Yeah, that yeah. they will cherish forever. Make yep. a, even a Christmas tree ornament, something sure, like that. Sure, yeah, of it. course. And you can actually even um, trim this loose and then hang it with a little ribbon oh. and hang it on the wall or hang it as an ornament or something like oh. that. Oh. Is this what okay. you do in some of your classes yes. too? This is part of the project. Yes, something. it is. We have this class for ages four to seven and it's, it's hand sewing for little hands. We do exactly that. And the other nice thing about this, too, is it is time, like you said, let the kids, you know, just do it. But also, it's, it's quiet time because they're not being influenced by an electronic device. Right. They're looking at it. They are <laughs> envisioning what's going they're on They're in this. control of their work. Yeah. Okay. They're not being entertained. They are, they're entertaining themselves. And they put a piece of themselves in it, too. Totally, like yeah. like mermaids or if you like, you know, any kind of those quilts I saw earlier, yep. those are neat, too. Yes. What they say it's not an exterior stimulus from an electronic device. That's right. That's so. right. All right. Bigger kids. So and, bigger kids. Which is... What I'm wearing. Yes, here. this is our Snow White inspired apron. Very love nice. It, love it, Great love model. It. And and Mike and, has his and nice little I've sash. Got my, and some metals my are metal sash. Let me just fix fiesta. you up here. There we oh, go. Thank okay. You. Love okay. it. So Jen is just gonna put the final touches on the kid version of this apron. And this is going to be a mommy and me class that we will offer very shortly. Um, it's not on the calendar yet, it will be soon. But there she goes. She's using her small motor skills to mm -hmm. take out that pen. And my cute little ring. <laughs> and putting it in the pin cushion. Good. <laughs> and how old do kids are they when they start using a sewing machine like that? We start them at about seven and a half and eight. Okay. So really? it's yes, wow. it's it, they have a very healthy respect for these machines. They know their power tools. We give them the spiel before class and let them know if you're not paying attention, you could maybe get hurt. But and you know you were talking about letting the kids just do this, don't do it for them, and even as far as the sewing machine is concerned, right? Yes, we want when they're in our class, we want them to thread the needle. We want them to pin their work. We want them to monitor the speed. We want them to do it all. Um, not only because it builds independence, but also, again, those fine motor skills we want them to build. Plus, like you said, their eyes are a lot better than... than yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. can't see the needles. We, the thread, and that's part so. of the reason why we have them thread, because, like, you get old and you need some bifocals to, you know. So, <laughs> what are some of the other events and classes that you have? Yeah, so we have summer camps all summer long. Oh, um, already every week is I know. Wow. I know. Every week is a different theme. Um, we have sip and sew, and we're making these um, pan dulce little zipper pouches. <gasps> We have Saturday sewing for kids. We make um, sloths and little octopuses and all kinds of fun sloth, stuff. You have to, look at that. Ted, thank you, or whoever's getting that done. <laughs> but again, this right here is adorable, yeah. too. Oh and just gosh. doing something like this at home and say, quiet time, and just yes. don't do anything, right? And right. It's, it's interesting to watch the kids because they are focused, and they are not distracted by anything. They want to finish their project. They want to choose their colors. They want to choose their buttons. They want to choose their thread. So it's really good. It's good quality family time. Mm -hmm. And again, like you said, it gets them away from the devices. And Creative gifts, and these things can last forever along exactly. with the memories. Exactly. I love it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Yes, okay, thank for you. more information on Abby's Attic, go to our website, salive.com. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Good seeing you, as always. Yay. Next on SA Live, the Alamo City has lots of opportunities for a career in the medical field. The Concord Career College of San Antonio is making it easier than ever for you to get started. Some of the ideas families do together. My family and I love Saturday red box nights. Ooh, yeah, movie nights. Oh, that's always fun. Love that, Vicky. 
This right here is the Torta Ahogada, and it's only available at one place here in San Antonio. I'm out here at the newest location of Rojo Pork and Bread, and this Thursday at 1.30 on Elder Eats, I'm gonna take you inside, plus all the different stuff on the menu, and find out how they're getting this all put together, and we're gonna get an interview with the owners as well. It's delicious stuff. You guys gotta watch this Thursday at 1.30, a brand new episode of Elder Eats, where we're going inside the brand new location of Rojo Pork and Bread. Welcome back, everyone. Well, if you're getting ready to graduate from high school or the parents of a soon-to-be grad, you could have a very exciting career in healthcare. Of course, the South Texas, Texas Medical Center is right here in town, and there's lots of opportunities in that field. And here to tell us about starting a career in healthcare is Eddie Kreiner, campus president at Concord Career College San Antonio. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Okay, somebody's getting ready to graduate from high school, and maybe, yeah, they kind of have an idea what they want to do. Healthcare? Well, absolutely. It's, it's a great field to be in. Uh, it's a growing field, uh, the aging population. So it, it's a great niche to be in and, uh, and you know, definitely a great opportunity just to come out to the campus. And it's not, you know, traditional students, usually maybe a UTSA, Trinity, something like that. But mm -hmm. for uh, maybe a non-traditional student or, or not really sure, and healthcare uh, is a great field to be in. Absolutely so wonderful. right out of high school, what uh, specific careers could they pursue in healthcare? Well, they could do diploma programs, which is uh, medical assisting, dental assisting as few as eight months, which is relatively quick, and they mm -hmm. can be, you know, career or job ready. Uh, or uh, associate degree programs, which are about a year and a half, and we have a variety of those as well, and those are great as well. Fantastic. Yeah. And that's the nice thing about it is that, because a lot of times it's like, well, I got to go to college, so I want to get a job. But like you said, in a matter of just over half a year, you're going to be earning money. Absolutely. And then you can still continue your education too, you, you right? You sure can, yeah. Well, there's tons of opportunities. I mean, for instance, you could do a diploma, then go on afterwards to an associate's degree program if you want to, and then online uh, bachelor's degree programs as well, like in respiratory therapy or something along those lines. So there's a lot of opportunities, and you're right. You can work. You get your associate's degree. You can work in the field in a year and a half as a respiratory therapist, continue your studies you know, thereafter online. And like you said, healthcare is one of those fields that's really never going to go away because obviously we all need healthcare. Exactly. And it's changing and changing and growing and expanding. I mean, it really is. The Bureau of Labor Statistics, I mean, they go, you know, I, I always tell people to go out there and kind of do your own research versus taking someone's word for it. But you go out there and you just do a little bit of research and you can just see that it's, it's an ever-growing field. People are aging and the need for healthcare it will always be there. Now, one of the big problems, though, you get your education and then you got to find a job. But mm -hmm. you make it kind of easy, too. We do. We have a very robust student affairs department, graduate employment specialist. So, so the nice thing about each of our programs, they have either an externship, like in the diploma programs, or a clinical component where they actually go out to hospitals and, and doctor's offices and things like that, Methodist and you know, Universal and things like that. So they actually get those experiences out there. And if they don't get hired directly off of their externship or clinical experience right after school, then we help them to get a job, and we have a very, we're very connected in the community with the hospitals and the medical And you're field. located right near the medical center anyway. We are within like two miles of there, right off uh, 410 and the Babcock area right there. So if it's classroom activity or if they have to be on site, it's just kind of basically right around the corner. Very convenient for them. And those that, that don't have transportation or have to take a bus in or something like that, which sometimes is the case, it's very convenient for them to get very close to where they need to be. Now, if uh, somebody wants to schedule an appointment or come and see the campus, what do they do? They can do either. They can just walk in Monday through Thursday. We're there from you know, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Friday till 5, and then Saturday uh, about a half a day as well. So they can make an appointment or just come in, get a tour. And, and really, it's all about the feel and, uh, and what, the, what they want to experience and, and make sure if they want something that's really hands-on, uh, working in the field, it's a great niche to be in. Okay, well, classes start monthly, and now's a great time to schedule an appointment and learn more, and you could be career-ready before Christmas. Yes, indeed. So just give Career Concord Career College San Antonio a call at 210-428-2000. That's 210-428-2000, or check out the school's website at concord.edu. Eddie, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Absolutely. All thank right, you. tomorrow on SA Live, a close encounter of the Stingray kind. Fiona takes a trip to SeaWorld to check out the Stingray pool at Aquatica, where you can get in the water and feed these gentle marine mammals. Plus, they come together to make music history. They ended up making it's one of this show is unbelievable. We get a preview of the musical Million Dollar Quartet at the Public Theater based on that legendary performance that brought together Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Carl Perkins. That's all tomorrow on SA Live.
Okay, what are those like fun activities to do with the family? Sammy says go to the park and go Pokemon hunting on Pokemon Go. Oh, that's fun. Linda says we play board games just yep. like the old days. Can't go wrong with board games, Linda. Indeed. Going camping and just having oh, yeah. fun with the family. Camping Although I can't get my wife to go camping. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening, Bonnie? Okay. Skilla says, simply playing outside, running around in the grass, barefoot like a kid again with my three-year-old, brings us so much happiness. I know the feeling. There's nothing like that. Roll Get your toes the in the grass. Yes, run around. Yeah, roll around. Play in the dirt. Yes. Get dirty. Uh, <laughs> hey, Spurs are playing Charlotte. Yes. Tonight, tonight. yes, mm -hmm. and if you didn't know, SeaWorld San Antonio is hosting a Spurs game watch party at the Orca Stadium starting at 5 o'clock. This is really cool. I don't know if this has ever been done before. Tickets to the watch party, are, watch party are $45 a person, which includes a return entry to the park for any date before June 30. And watch party goers will also receive a $45 credit to upgrade the ticket to a oh. season pass at SeaWorld. Tickets can be purchased online at SeaWorld.com forward slash Spurs, and right now, Spurs are in seventh place in the Western Conference because they weren't about fifth because they had that great winning streak yeah. going, and then you said a couple mm. of losses, and you know so, how it goes. And there's but don't worry, we'll not get there. many games left. No, just a how many games left, Jeff? You know, eight. Eight games eight. left. Thanks, Tony. Okay. <laughs> so right. go Spurs, go. Hey, tomorrow, Wild Wednesday, heading out to see World, as a matter of fact, oh, and yeah. the Million Dollar Quartet over there at the yes, Public Theater. About I this. just saw it on Sunday. It is. Wonderful. Have a great Tuesday. Thanks for watching.